What's going on, everybody? Uh, this is Bobby with the SIEDC. Uh, excited to have everybody here uh, on this on this great webinar uh, with Mike from Techie Geek. Uh, this is going to be all about uh, the, the best ways and the best tips to unify your communications in a remote world. Uh, during this webinar, uh, each of you are going to get five different tips to help your businesses uh, be productive uh, with, uh, with with a distributed workforce in a remote world. Uh, so, Mike, uh, I'm going to drop it over to you just so you can uh, give a little bit of an overview of what you're going to be talking about today. Uh, so you want to take it away, Mike? Sure. So, um, good morning to uh, afternoon, everyone. Let's just make sure. All right, getting started now. Thank you, Mike Bloomfield. I am the president geek of Techie Geek, and we are offering today Techie Geek presents unifying your communications in a remote world. Where the agenda for today is going to be introductions. Uh, we're also going to do the partnership between LogMeIn and Techie Geek. Who is Techie Geek? Our services. Five tips for improving communications, uh, and we're going to do a Q and A. Okay, I'm sorry. Got all of those. Um, okay, let's continue through. Again, I am Mike Bloomfield, President Geek of Techie Geek. Uh, so a little about us. Techie Geek is a managed IT service provider based here in Staten Island, New York. We focus in Staten Island, the five boroughs, Long Island, upstate New York, and New Jersey. We have been in business uh, for eight years now, and we are a 2020 winner of the MSP 501 Award. When I'm not doing tech work, I'm, I have two beautiful daughters and a wife, and I'm clearly, if you look into my background, you can tell I'm really into uh, Marvel and collectibles. And we're going to get into why that matters more about Techie Geek a little after. I would like to introduce Greg Bertino. However, he has not arrived yet. So when Greg jumps in, we will, I'll get back to this slide. We'll introduce Greg is the senior territory manager of Log Me In, and we've worked with Greg for a number of years, and he is a great resource to Techie Geek um, for our relationship with Log Me In. So we'll come back to uh, Greg when he gets here to say hello. The partnership. So Techie Geek partnered with uh, Jive at the time, who was purchased by Log Me In a number of years back. And now it is known as the Log Me and Go To suite of products. We only partner with vendors who we trust, and that that would only it, the solution needs to work in my environment for us to sell it. I've only partnered with Drive and Go To now because I truly have full commitment and full trust in the product. It's what we use here on the internally at Techie Geek, and that really makes for a good partnership. If it's not good enough for me to use, how can I expect you to use it? It's the only provider that we offer to our clients. We have access to close to 50 different VoIP products. We have uh, access to about 10 different unifying communication products. However, we only recommend and, and go first uh, with Drive and the go-to suite of products. It's who we choose for our office, our employees, and, and, and everyone else. So why, why do we do that? What is the competitive differences of the log meeting suite of products. Well, it's all inclusive pricing. It's honest pricing. It gives you hundreds of features and they know they do not nickel and dime you. That's one thing that we see in a lot of other providers is they truly nickel and dime you. Well, you want an extra general voicemail box? That's $5 a month. You want an extra ring group? That's $5 a month. By the time it's all said and done, your bill has hundreds of dollars in extra fees for things that should be included. And that's truly what makes go to um, all inclusive, honest pricing. It includes everything. There are no hidden costs. The quote you get is the what you are going to pay each month. Seamless experience. There's no need to create additional usernames and passwords. With the whole unified communication platform, everything works together. It gives you the ability to instantly toggle between meetings without relaunching the application or entering a new URL. It doesn't matter if you're on a voice call, if you're on a video conferencing. Everything is from one pane of glass. And then most importantly, it's reliable. I'll knock on some wood because it is uh, mercury retrograde. But our tech is wholly owned by, uh, the tech is wholly owned by LogMeIn. 
award-winning support. And uh, we've been a partner of theirs for eight years and it is truly a reliable product, which is why we stick with it. So who is Techie Geek, right? Well, you got Troubleshoot there. He's our little mascot. He likes to hang around. So he just wanted to stop in to say hi. Um, but Techie Geek offers four core services. Those four core services are managed IT. Um, and what is a managed IT, you ask? Well, managed IT pro service providers take over and protect your infrastructure. There's nothing worse than detrimental business downtime due to being a, a cyber secure a hack, a ransomware attack, hardware issues. With a managed provider, we maintain your infrastructure and we help to minimize your, your risk. Business continuity, that is the prevention of downtime. With our business continuity solutions, we help to protect your business so that in a disaster, we get you back up and running as quickly as possible. Unified communications, which is what we're going to talk uh, today about. And then cloud computing is, you know, putting servers and different solutions up in the cloud. And we are actually in the process of making four videos that will be coming out in the next uh, month or so that are hopefully going to help you to really understand these four services in a fun way. And, you know, look for those on our YouTube. So what makes us unique? Well, First off, it's our clients. Without you, we would not be here. We understand that clients are everything to us and we strive to constantly and consistently give you a five-star performance. Culture. So that's why I talk about what's in my background. It's all about the culture here. We are geeks at heart down to, well, most of the staff, I'm not gonna say all of them, but most of the staff is truly geeks at heart. We have arcades, we have toys everywhere. We I want my employees to enjoy coming to work and that culture should come through in everything we do. And then the community. It's my job to give back to that community and every member of our team to give back to that community that has given so much to us and to helped grow us over the past eight years. And we thank them. So those are our core values, it's clients, culture, and community. So five tips for improve, improving communication in the workplace. So, you know, we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about how, you know, when you don't have proper communication, not only is that ineffective for your team, but it also causes business loss. There's a recent data pegs that the average loss of a business is nearly $420,000 per year due to poor communication. Like, just think of that, $420,000 you threw out the door because of poor communication within your office. So, and what's more, one in three U.S. employees are willing to quit their job over workplace communication issues. An employee is willing to quit. He could be the best, he or her, or she could be the best employee, but is willing to leave this position because of communication issues. And it's your job as an owner to make sure every employee is happy and every employee could effectively communicate. So, so what does it mean for your business? Well, well, better collaboration leads to effective action. So how do you start? It's like anything else. You can't just go to a doctor and go and tell the doctor, this is what my prescription is. You need to go to a doctor and have that assessment. You have to assess your current strategies. And that's tip number one. You need to sit down and first off, talk to the people that it really matters to, your employees. What is the employee perception of your communication? Are they happy? Are they, able to, uh, are they able to effectively communicate? If you are in a remote world due to a COVID restrictions or any other type of restrictions where you've moved to a distributed workforce, you gotta make sure you check in with those employees. You, know, you wanna make sure that their opinions matter. Everyone wants to feel valued. Are they frustrated? And if they are, what are these areas of frustration? And are you ignoring it? And remember as a business owner, a happy employee makes for a happy owner. Resource availability, that's another one. Can your staff get the information they need? You can't make it difficult for your staff to find information. Everything needs to be at their fingerprint, or, uh, fingertip, no matter where they are. If they're at their computer, if they're on their phone, out of the office, if they're working remotely, they need to be able to access the data that they need to access and they need to be able to easily do this. 
Is it clear how they're supposed to communicate with clients in all forms of uh, scenarios? How are they supposed to communicate with uh, clients when they're in the office, when they're remote, when they're out of the office on their mobile phone? It's important that, that they understand that. And are there consistent rooms in the terms of the inner and outer office communication and their responsibilities? And then you want to also assess your office layout. Different office environments will change how communication is designed to be. Do you have closed off cubicles? Well, those limit communication. Or do you have an open bullpen where you have four to six people that sit around and are, it's encouraged for them to collaborate and talk once to another? So that's important. So tip number one, you have to assess your current strategies. Well, so number two, you have to make room for those remote workers. With, you know, when you have remote workers, you now have the possibility for a disconnection. You have, you, maybe you have a hybrid environment where you have some employees in the office and some out. Maybe you are fully remote right now. Well, in either scenario, you have to make sure that those employees that are not together do not feel that disconnect. Because once they do, you have a role, they no longer feel like they're a part of the team. Um, and so how do you do that? Well, during COVID, how did we do that? We had hourly, um, daily calls where we would get on video. We'd have meetings, we talk about different things. But the other important thing is we didn't just get on daily meetings just to talk about business. Sometimes we just started a video call just to, just to talk. See what's for lunch. See what the latest TV show was on that everyone was watching. Just like you have office communication inside the office, uh, you know, if you would water cooler talk, you still want to have that in a remote world. That's going to help to bridge that gap and make those remote workers feel like they're part of the team still. There are, there are products out there, such as the Goga Connect and the Microsoft Teams, that can help to make for an easy team leaders to quickly schedule meetings. And that came huge during, during the pandemic. We were able to get on a chat and instantly say, right within the suite of products, let's get on a video conference. And within 20 seconds, we were all on video and interactive. So make room for your remote workers. It shouldn't be something that you want to push back against. You need to open it up and welcome it into your environment. Well, arrange, uh, you know, tip three, arrange regular online status meetings. So kind of like I spoke about in tip two, which we did during the pandemic was those daily calls, video comp meetings with our team, is you need to do that. For a reliable unified communication, commu unified communications tool, you should arrange a mandatory online video meetings on a daily or weekly basis, whatever works for your schedule, um, to ensure there's active and effective communication. And it looks like we have Greg joining us. So once he gets connected to audio, we will, uh, we will introduce Greg. Um, but remember, accountability is key. And with employees knowing they have to be on camera at least once a day to check in on task and status, and basically it's still showing up for work. By forcing them to have these regular online status meetings and requiring that they come on call, they show up on camera, not only, again, are you bringing that collaboration and making them feel like they're a part of the team, but you're also holding them accountable. They feel like they're still at work. I guess pants are optional, but at least they show up on camera and you, you, you have that communication and they feel like they're a part of the team. Greg, I do want to introduce you. Um, we, we jumped past your slide. Uh, I, I, your audio is connected. I'm ready to rock. Hey, Greg. So, yep. So, Greg, let me jump back a couple of slides and I'll jump forward. Please go ahead and uh, tell them a little about yourself and then I, I will jump forward so you could talk quickly about, uh, you know, what log me in and what all what you offer. Perfect. And you guys can see me OK? Uh, we see you. Perfect. So, yeah, Greg Bertino here with log me in. So happy to join and glad uh, we've got this thing kicked off and I appreciate the opportunity. You know, I've come. Uh, from a world of uh, collaboration, speeds and feeds, and it's it's an interesting time to uh, to be sitting here with with everything that's happening in the world. And uh, we always joke, and Mike and I have talked in the past that uh, it's back to the future, right? This was supposed to be the way it was going to be in 2029, 2030, but everything has been 
you know, brought into 2020 because of pandemic. So when you start listening to the value and what Techie Geek can do um, with regards to products and where we're at, you know, here at Log Me In, we're really excited to be able to offer uh, unified collaborations, remote access, and of course, security with LastPass. Uh, Log Me In is truly your remote work company, your work from anywhere organization. And we're really excited to be partnered with Techie Geek and excited to hear um, you know, more about how they're going to be able to support you when it comes time to work from anywhere. You know, we've got the tools and the resources to help you, and we're excited to be a part of this. Thank you, Greg. And yeah, we, we spoke about, I'm going to get back to where we were, but we spoke about what truly makes GoGo Connect, uh, you know, valuable, the all-inclusive pricing, seamless experience, reliability, and we, we'll get more of you back to you at the end as we move on. So let me jump back to where we were. So moving on to tip number four, consider employee resistance. People are afraid of change. This is always the case and we know this, but we have to, you have to spearhead that and you have to be the leader within your organization to help bring that new communication tool and to help develop those new habits that work in a remote world and work for the, where we are today as business owners. Technology is here to stay. It's not going anywhere. And unfortunately, as a business owner, if you don't uh, pivot and move to learn to use technology, you will be left in the sand by someone who's willing to adapt and adopt these new uh, technologies. Unified Communications is one of those tools that you absolutely have to spearhead and bring to your organization. It's a tool that helps for communicating effectively across the whole company. It helps you from messaging to phones to videos to meeting rooms. There's a solution that fix everything. So you have to be that leader and you know work with a team that can help you to put together the project to spearhead that to effectively get past that employee resistance and move forward. And then tip number five, Voice over IP is the wave of the future in communications. Many times do we have meetings where VoIP, uh, you know, as many business owners will say, or VOIP, they, they, they like, oh, no, I've heard VoIP is bad, it, you know, sound quality. Well, this is if we were talking about voice over IP a decade ago. Over the past, first off, nearly a decade ago, there was a huge improvement in these in this platform but year after year we have seen nothing but improvements so far so much that the fact that even the phones that you're on at your home they're really voice over ip you just don't even realize it is you know if you have a verizon fios and different providers you don't even realize but they're running over the voice over ip protocol traditional telephone solutions don't take the flexibility of the modern business in mind Landlines tend to bundle everything together. And when you have a landline, you're paying for dial tone. That's all you get. You are paying every month just to have that dial tone. It's now your responsibility to bring what's known as a PBX in the play, which is the phone system. Then to select the phone system that has the correct feature set for your business. With voice over IP, well, at least with a proper voice over IP provider, you are no longer paying for dial tone you are paying for a solution and that's important. And voice over IP application is one of the best solutions an organization can implement. They usually, they work across multiple devices. You could take calls from your office and make calls from your office on your office phone, your, your computer, your mobile device, no matter where you are, you have access to your work phone. That's huge. During the pandemic, if uh, for our clients, which is probably, 99% of our clients who are running the voice over IP, um, when they went to lockdown mode and they had to get to a remote workforce, we were able to keep them working from no matter where they are. Their employees can now be at home and still take those calls. When you have a landline and a PBX, now you're looking into maybe forwarding a call to someone's cell phone. There's no easy way to do that. Voice over IP changes that. It is a game changer. It's been a game changer for the past five or six years now. And if your business is not already doing it, you need to be looking into it. 
and let me stop the big fear right now. Oh, I'm going to lose my phone number. Um, changing phone providers is hard. It couldn't be the furthest thing from the truth. There's protections by the FCC to prevent you losing your phone number as long as you follow the, the proper guides to go ahead and get that ported. Um, you own that phone number. That phone number is able to move to whatever provider. And moving phone carriers is extremely easy. Don't let your current provider scare you. It's something that could be done very easily when you, when you pick the right provider. So to drive home the point, adding a unified communication solution to your business can drastically improve not only your day-to-day -day communications between you and your staff, but your customers are also able to reach out to you. Always. It doesn't matter where you are and you have the ability to control that. So it's a generation of instant gratification. Why do people use Amazon? Well, because they want to be able to make that purchase right now and know that in maybe three hours from now, that product will be on their front door. Instant gratification is what we look for. And if you're going to be a successful business owner, you have to put those solutions in place that help to give those instant gratifications to their, your clients. So we have some good news for you. If you think it's something you might want to take advantage of, we have some giveaways and some different offerings. So if you book a demo with us, we are going to go ahead and put you in a raffle to win a free Google Home. Um, I'm a big fan of Google. Google Home, great solution for your house. So just for booking a demo and getting on a demo with us, we'll get you entered into a raffle. And as an added gift, uh, if you sign a unified communication contract with us by the end of the month, you'll receive three free months as well as 50% off your system setup fees. Um, you can schedule your demo at demo.techiegeek.com slash unified communications. I'm going to leave that up there for a little bit. Um, demo takes about a half an hour. We learn a little about you. We show you the inner workings of the whole go-to platform and their unified communication platform. And just for doing that, we hope to save you some money on your current phone bill and give you a much better solution. And who knows, maybe you'll win a Google Home. Um, so thank you. Demo.techageek.com slash Unified Communications. Greg, uh, do you have anything you want to add at this time before we jump to uh, so see if we have any Q&A? No, you did a, did a great job. And I appreciate you hitting on all the facts and all the points here with regards to the Unified Communication piece of it. And I think it's also you know, important to, to re-emphasize the, you know, the work from anywhere piece of this, you know, you guys are doing a phenomenal job in getting people set up and making sure that they're connected, but more importantly, you know, in this world where we're all working from everywhere, staying connected. So these are the tools that we're using. This is the way that we're bringing everybody together and uh, Techie Geek's here to do that for you. So we really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Greg. And we are, we are here to help you Unified communications does not have to be a scary thing. And remember with unified communications, we are able to put all the pieces together for an amazing voice solution for your business, video collaboration, conference rooms, inner office and outer office communication. That is what unified communications is. It's taking all of these different pieces and putting it together to efficiently and effectively make you and your employees communicate in the way they should be and the way your business deserves. Um, we have a, you know, a time for Q&A. If there are any questions, we're happy to answer it. Um, if there aren't, you know, we thank you for taking the time to join us today. Please stay in touch with Techie Geek on social media, at Techie Geek at Facebook, at Techie Geek on Instagram. We're also on YouTube. We put out a lot of great, well, what I consider great content on YouTube. Uh, educational content as well. So please go ahead, find us on YouTube. Uh, we are Techie Geek uh, NYC on YouTube and subscribe to us. That will mean a lot to us. And I think you'll get some real value out of it. So if there are no questions, I really thank you and appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch with us today. All right, Mike, I appreciate you jumping on here. Uh, this is a great seminar. Thank you again. Uh, thank you to Greg as well for jumping on. Um, and I uh, so appreciate everybody else that was in, uh, was on here listening. And if you guys do want to watch this back, uh, this will be posted soon as well. So everybody have a great rest of your day, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, everybody.